painting is about facing yourself. I mean, I think people think it's like La La Land or something. Like, you do it to escape reality, and that's not how it is. You do it to confront reality. Both of us are, we're completely devoted to making art, and we did it over at Danny's. At that time I was working two jobs, so one of them would start at like six in the morning. And I just devoted myself to working relentlessly to get out of debt and to make as much art as possible. So I would get off work. I barely took care of my cat. When I wasn't with my daughter, then I was over at Danny's, and we were either talking about movies, listening to music, talking shit. Jono's approach has had a large impact on what I do. Kevin, his influence on me, you know, he changed all my material that was around because I started working with him, so I switched. His actual painting techniques are less influential than I think just his mind is, and his critical eye. He didn't care about trashing stuff. Uh, we would staple eight foot long pieces of canvas directly to the wall and work off of that. We work off of old canvases. Sometimes we would just burn our old work. Just if we couldn't reuse it. We just work all night. And I didn't eat very much at the time and I quit drinking and got down to like 155 pounds. But that's how that's how into making art we were. We just became we just became like machines art making machines and uh, that's one of the, the biggest things I learned from working with Danny is that you should never be afraid to make a mistake or even work over the what you think is the best part of any painting. Yeah, Danny is totally fearless. Expression is about emotion and visceral experience and improvisation. When I started painting in the 90s, expressionist stuff was very much out of style. And unfortunately, I think, you know, people confuse art and fashion and they're not the same thing. People have no fucking idea what they're doing. I just, I couldn't have been more out of touch with what was going on. <laughs> Danny was like, oh my god, the sunlight feels so good. I haven't been outside in weeks. And he was like pale as a sheet. And until that point, we weren't like really great, great friends. But because of that, because of this, we became really good friends. In August of 08, I went to his house a couple times. Which was also important because he, Daisy, his daughter, had these markers, which I use now, which are very important to me. Kevin came over around six or seven, and we painted until about three in the morning.
If the painting that I gave Kathleen her engagement present, there's a uh, there's actually a white castle wrapper attached to the canvas. But we would use anything. Yeah, it comes specifically from spray painting is what we kind of made a stencil that said best start on it. So we started using the stencil as a kind of a way to like uh, loosen things up. A blank virgin canvas and then spray paint best start on it. It's kind of like spray painting poo on something. Nations crumble and art is there to do the rebuilding. Well, and I definitely used it for personally to rebuild my life and at me and one of me and Danny's shows that's right ended up being my wife, so